Howdy, and welcome to The Takeout, the movie edition of The Lunch Table, where my buddy and I pick an arbitrary number every week to watch movies with. Quick disclaimer, though. If you haven't seen this movie already, there's probably going to be some spoilers. So go ahead, pause this movie, watch it, form your own opinions. We're here to spread the love of movies. But if you've already seen this movie, or you don't care, then go ahead, grab some snacks, and meet us on the couch. Quiet in the movie! All cell phones must be off! This has Ellen before she was hated. Oh, what a dick. You can tell this guy's a real prick. Polizia! Oh, look at his bell bottoms. Oh no, where's her wife, Portia? Yeah, let's count how many times we're actually attracted to her. It's gonna be a short list, bud. Oh, I know. Look for a bugger man, bud. You hear her voice. You tell me she don't sound like a bitch. Yeah, you gotta stop looking like a retired golfer. The it groom looks more girly than her. Man, look at her arms. <laughs> look at his gay hair. He, look <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Lord Farquaad. Grew up. <laughs> she even has an ass like a man. Like, dude, like, straight up that people couldn't guess that she was a lesbian. Dude, she was probably just jerking it. Look, and she's ashamed of it. Look at his fanny pack. That's who she looks like, too, Hillary Clinton. Yeah. She's staring at me. I can't help you, lady. I'm not here. I can't help. Stop looking at me. I don't know, dude. That is how little I cared about that dude. I think his name was Walter. I'm all about it. See her shaking and making noise in the back. I want to make love to a wind chime. Gong 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 Like learn to settle, bitch. Or find a woman if that's what you like. <laughs> yeah. I'm done. Right. I'm walking away. God knows you got the muscle mass. <laughs> got shoulders like a linebacker. Black boots. That was the look? He's the look? It's Is she like- Borderline creepy. From both ends. Oh, I'm falling for this man. He already looks old there. Yeah, and he's looking at her like he's thinking about staking her skin up to his lampshade. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's got that <laughs> smolder. Is that a roll of quarters? Or is... Are you happy to see Ellen? It's a roll of quarters. Oh, oh okay. she's guessing him. She don't know how to suck dick. <laughs> oh, there's a nipple. If he pulls out a cigar, that, that's a classy long dick move. She's holding him. A peanut butter jelly sandwich is not something that you eat after or before sex. Like, it gets too sticky to do anything. Yeah, and I feel like it would lead to infections. Dude, do you think I could pull off that hairstyle? Not Ellen's. I, I already do that. Oh, Ellen. Okay, showing a little skin, Ellen. Not too much curves. Nice. He wanted in that. Yeah. Dude, he got it once. He wants it again. She, she must got that double grip. He couldn't even get his underwear off. Show us your tits. Breathe a nipple, Alan. Show us your tits. And now that he's up with me, here's my medical history. He's literally having a stroke. He might be, yeah. <laughs> I think he's having Call 911, Alan. Do you know what her name is really in this movie? I haven't paid attention to no, one bit of dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she was fucking smiling. Every relationship in this is weird. I don't even- what does she do? What's her job? News? Is that usually how it goes? Do you fuck someone twice and go, well, now it's time to meet my parents? Funny in a special way. What does that mean? And now he's drinking and driving. Dude, she's so uncool. Wow, what a dick. Ew! I'm gonna love I'm really you tonight innocent. until you're drenched in sweat. God, that is gonna be my next line. I gotta throw up. What is wrong with any of that? Monster trucks are cool. Fucking Colin Boobies bazongas? Cool. Oh, yeah. I 
green. Darn it, Sonny Boy Whitman, you found another flat one. Why did his attitude completely change? Bone fest to the honeymoon. Give my son a big bone fest. This is just awkward. Did no one look at this movie and go, what the fuck is this trash? No. Are they breaking up? She's breaking up with him, yeah. Martha? Martha. Martha. <laughs> Took half a fucking movie for us to learn the protagonist's name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it made us go through this, buddy. She's got a crazy face. No, we don't dance to this movie. We don't dance to this movie. There goes my baby. Now that's the guy you should marry. Right. Seriously. Like, you bitches. No, no, she will. She will. Just fanny At pack the very end, that's the dude she's going after. No, he's going to die protecting gonna her. Coincidental. He's going to die protecting her. Especially yeah. at the end of his career when he was eating too much peanut butter jellies and bacon, bacon. sandwiches. Oh my oh, god! Oh, jeez! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking creepy a clown. ass clown! Yeah, dude, that's also called obsessive. Dude won't take a hint. Now there's a whole bunch of gifts outside. That's just too much, dude. Oh, there Big penis energy, finally. There it is. We got a real man finally on screen. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is awkward. I'm her soulmate. How did she fall down there? She fainted. Why is there a monkey? I gotta tell you, I'm getting a headache from the camera angles. They tried so hard, but their content sucks. Oh, man. Not married, but engaged. I felt uncomfortable with this whole movie. Dude, he's just, he's trying to work the Stockholm Syndrome. If I'm there enough around her, eventually she'll... Yeah, I refuse to take no. Bob and Inga! They're back! Oh shit, that went from zero to a hundred real quick. I guess we're just gonna have to cut her heart out. That guy's my favorite character in this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Kids. Oh shit, the kids have guns! What is going on this last 10 minutes? They don't know. Dude, this is like you and me. You know, I was just always there. Right. And always giving you gifts that broke you down. You did, slowly but sure. Yeah. Like, dude, most of the time, why any other movie I'd be laughing over this shit. Uh -huh. This one has sucked all the, the fun out of it. Yeah. I, it's just awkward. That's what happens when you have a pack you're prepared. <laughs> You've worn me down. Yep. It's bigger than me. It's Fanny Pack, dude! With a gun! Oh god, here goes the gun. Oh, she killed him! He tried to hug her and she shot him. She's gonna ride off into the sunset with Fanny Pack. Here she goes, she's gonna make out. Oh my god, just end! I know. Good thing there's no sequel. I'm sorry for anyone who watched this. Welcome back. Welcome Ho back. Hopefully everybody enjoyed themselves during that movie. No. Well, you, I, you cut me off because you can't enjoy the movie. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> um, once again, the movie we watched. Mr. Wrong. Mr. Wrong. Drew. I got kind of excited. There, there was another movie, I think on Netflix, that has Anna Kendrick. And yeah. it's Mr. Right. Ooh. And he's like an assassin. And again, another Stockholm Syndrome thing. But like, it's a good movie. This Essentially, was not. Essentially, she becomes an assassin at the end. This was not. You know, we rolled a 38 this time. <laughs> and uh, it showed. Yeah, it, it definitely showed its stripes. Drew, you want to... We're going to bring back something a little bit old right. that we used to do. You want to go ahead and read uh, Back of the Box for us? Absolutely. A bright, inventive, refreshing comedy from CBS TV. Here's the outrageous and hilarious comedy that matches one of America's hottest comics, Ellen DeGeneres, with a handsome comedy favorite, Bill Pullman. Together, they deliver a riotously funny look at the agonizing dating games of the 90s. He seems like Ellen's perfect dream date until he expect unexpectedly turns her hopeful search for Mr. Right into the nightmare of winding up with Mr. Wrong with a first-rate cast and a hot hit soundtrack adding to the fun critics and audiences nationwide couldn't stop laughing along with this side-splitting comedy hit. Jeez. Really wordy. God, these fucking people in uh, hurry. Uh, uh, man, they lied <laughs> they so not hard. They watched the movie. They, uh, everything about that was a... Well, oh, yeah. The plot really wasn't a lie. It is about a woman who thinks she falls in love with Mr. Right, and he's not. Yeah. 
Um, but like you, you named a couple of the cast members already on there. Right. As we, we re- I really picked this. It was my turn because of Ellen. And when it says hottest, I hope they mean like popular wise. Right. Because look wise, <laughs> she kind of failed in that. She, she looked not o- great. Over no. 40. Now this was made in 96. She looked over 40 and uh, frumpy. Oh yeah. Like very frumpy. They dressed her kind of. Yeah. I didn't understand why any guy would want her in that movie. It seems like she was getting big enough that she decided that she wanted to dress herself. Yeah. And then she's like, "Oh yeah, I got all the things here in my closet. I don't need. I don't need you to. Those right. are comfy. I don't need you to mess with anything." Yeah, it's like she came out and she's like, "Well, this is me," you know. Well, I mean, it is. She's Ooh. a frumpy lesbian, but that's that's a big thing. I want to know when Ellen came out. Came out. That because she does not convey uh, the typical uh, trope in this. The, I guess the way I want to say it. Right. Also, the acting was awful. It yep. was absolutely shit, dude. It was just dog poopy. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this movie came out in 1996. Yeah. I've said it a whole bunch of times. Coincidentally, the other movie that was on our list, uh, Mr. Nanny. Yeah. Uh, also came out in 1996. Bad I don't know year why. for movies. I, I don't know. Bad uh, year for movies. In April 1997 is when she came out as lesbian on the Oprah Winfrey show. Oh, wow. So, so the world, at the time of her doing this movie, did not know. Well, at that point, everyone had a... Oh, They yes, were thinking yeah. it. Yeah, they were thinking at that point. That's why she just came out and said it. <laughs> like, they, they had a thought, but... Really, it, it this doesn't... This is when she was still in the process of telling her friends and family. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's probably why she chose to... The movie just blew. None it of the sucks. actors had chemistry. No. None of them. Our two leads it looked like they despised each other and found each other completely uh, unattractive. Oh, yeah. But yet, they're sitting here delivering these weird-ass lines <laughs> to one another. The, it, the whole movie, I felt uncomfortable. <laughs> like, I felt uncomfortable the whole movie. Yeah. And me and you couldn't even pay attention to what was going on. No. We didn't even know the main character's fucking name until halfway through the movie. <laughs> yeah, like 35 minutes in. <laughs> not even like 45 minutes in. Martha. Martha. And the only reason that stands out to me is the Batman versus Superman. Martha. Oh, see, I didn't Aunt Martha. Oh, uh, yeah. That would do it too. Yep. <laughs> so you want to know who was in it? Yeah, real quick. All right, so Ellen DeGeneres, of course, we know her from a whole bunch of things. Her yeah. main thing is like Mainly Finding her Nemo. show. Yeah, and her show. Uh, Bill Pullman, uh, things that I knew him as was Casper and in Independence Day. He was president in that. Yep. Uh, but a lot of other people might know him as uh, Spaceballs. Oh, okay. He was like the, uh, the Han Solo from Spaceballs. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, Joan Cusack. Joan Cusack is John Cusack's sister. Oh, yeah, and she's been in a couple other things. She was principal in uh, School of Rock. Uh, she was in Toy Story 2 as Jessie. No, she does the voice for Jessie. Yep. Yep. Okay, that was good one. for her. Yeah, she's been in a lot of other things. Yeah. Kind of like small Dude, they things. had star power. That's not the thing. Right. You read who's in this movie. No one pops out to you as awful. <laughs> I wouldn't even say Ellen most of the time is an awful actress. Yeah. You know, I think she did her show real well. Everyone thought she was an awesome person for a long time till they found out she's an asshole. She was a big asshole. Oh, all of them are. <laughs> but it it must have been a director thing, or just a whole, just no one liked each other back behind stage or something because no one worked well together on this. Right. Nothing worked right. It was weird. It doesn't make sense most of the time. People do shit like outside their character. Yes. It. it it's, uh, I don't know how we sat through it, to speak, be honest. Speaking of doing things outside of their character, the last person I'm going to bring up as a member of the cast is uh, Brad William Heineke. He was Piscatella on Orange is the New Black. Yeah. Uh, but he played Bob. Yeah. Bob yeah. was hilarious. The best character, for the sure. The best character. He reminded me in that Glass movie, the movie Glass. Yeah. You know how we always had those like henchmen? 
Yeah. The stupid henchmen that they just cloned all the time. He reminded <laughs> me of them. <laughs> uh, sadly, uh, this actor died. Oh, wow. So he died in his sleep 2022. Wow. November 2022. So. What else did he play in? Did he play in Glass or anything like that? He seems very familiar. Uh, he was in Space Jam, Gone in 60 Seconds, no. Pacific Rim, Draft Day. Okay, I don't know. Bright. I've seen him, but he's not the guy I'm thinking. No. Yeah, he was only the good relief. Uh, they right. had. He, he was mainly a TV guy. Who was he TV guy? They had a lot of decent songs, but even their track selection was oof. Let's see if I can find the uh, oof soundtrack. Well, see, they're only going to give you the good ones that they did, like the radio hits that were on it. Yeah. But whatever background noise that would go on, like stuff that wasn't actually uh, uh, off the radio, the composed stuff was just awful. There's nothing good I can really say about this. I think the way we, we talked about it, the way they ran the camera, awful, shaky, they tried. God, there was one scene where like she was running around, and I get that it's like a hectic thing for her at that time, but god damn, I was feeling sick. Yeah, you even said it. The movie, like I was about to throw up because the camera's just <laughs> Blair Witch Project-y. They tried to do that one camera thing, even though they would add different camera views in. Yeah. Malcolm in the middle, you know, they filmed it on one camera, and they would follow people around, and it was like, you were the camera. Right. And it's like, they tried to do that. It fell right on her face. <laughs> uh, really, the only song that, that jumps out here is a crazy little thing called Love by Queen. There we go. So, so the, Queen, this, this, this one's one done by Queen. Queen. Yeah. Hey! Round of applause! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, 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 was, it was not a great movie. Is there any redeeming thing you can say about it? Oh, God. Why do you put me on the spot like this? Maybe. <laughs> Other than that particular camera scene, nothing was really shot horrible, especially for 1996. True. Like, if if they changed everything except for the way that it was filmed, I, I would be okay. Yeah, you think some of the camera angles are the reason it looks so yeah, it, awkward? Yeah. Yeah. Because it seemed off the entire... Like, I mean, you had an unsettling feeling in the whole yeah. movie. You know, even at the beginning, where they're trying to convince you that she's falling in love with this guy, it doesn't seem like he's someone to fall in love with. And she looks like she's making disgusted faces, not... Ooh. Yeah, it, like, there's a point where you think, is he really that good looking for her to be acting like that? Mm -hmm. And he's not. Mm -mm. And she denied hotter guys. Right. That was also the weird thing. They had better looking people she denied. The, the dude, the fanny six pack. Yeah, who... Nope, don't spoil it. Okay. Yeah, the fanny six pack guy. <laughs> Straight up. Like, how do you... Friend zoned him. Instantly friend zoned him. Whines about not finding anyone. Friend zones him. Okay, so this is the first movie that Siege and I have watched on the podcast here for The Takeout that neither of us have actually seen the movie before. Yes. There was no connection to either of us for this movie. Uh, I don't know if that is a driving factor, but it definitely it, shows. It could. Yeah. So my big question here is we've watched a lot of bad movies. A lot of bad movies. Yeah. The two that come to mind, and you tell me if there's any other ones, fucking Speed 2. That was horrible. And Home Alone 4. Both of those were horrible. Were they more horrible no. than this? No. Speed you think this is <clears throat> the bottom of the barrel? Speed 2 was so ridiculous it that it made crazy. you laugh. Yeah. It made you, like, when they were, like, running through boats and shit, it was kind of funny. It was so <laughs> stupid. Right? Home Alone. Even though it sucked, it still had some of the Home Alone features that would make it laugh. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. This did not make us laugh. At, not once. Well, maybe maybe at the end it made us laugh. Right. Other than that, dude, there was nothing to enjoy. Well, I couldn't I, even follow along with the story. I, I mean, you made, the, you made that point while we were watching it. it. You're like, if this was in any other movie, then I would be laughing my ass off. But the fact that it's in this is just... No, it's not right. It just, it just doesn't work. Right. I don't know what it is or what they did. And I think it's the chemistry in between actors. Maybe. But it yeah. did not work. 
their jokes didn't land. They, they did them at the wrong time. They would stretch jokes out for way too long. Yes. It doesn't seem like they had comedians on this. <laughs> you know, it doesn't seem like a comedian was leading, leading the show here. All right, so on to, well, my favorite part here. What do you think the budget was? Oh, damn. The budget, 60 million. 60 million. Okay, remember it's it's 1996. Okay. Still 60 million? Sure. Yeah, I don't okay. know. Okay. Uh, well, uh, 25 million. I mean, you're closer now. That, uh, 19. Okay. Wasn't a lot. No. Which, it doesn't look like it. Right. And this is very early on in Ellen DeGeneres' film career. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know if she did her TV show before this yet. No. No, like, her no, TV not, show is way after No, no, this. not Ellen TV show. The other TV show she was in. Yeah, like the sitcom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I think that was after this as well. Okay. Um, 19 million. Yeah. Uh, zero. I mean, zero dollars. Zero dollars? You think it yeah. made zero dollars? No, I think it, it made its money back because her name probably carried the movie. Okay. But that's it. Okay. Uh, box office... 12.8 million did not make money. Nope. <laughs> it didn't it didn't deserve to. Nope. <laughs> 6.2 million dollars in the red. Damn. Yeah. That's why she wasn't in too many movies. No. <laughs> now she just uses her voice. Much better. Dude, there's something about her eyes. You said you like them. No, 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 when no, no, no. When she stares at me, there, it's like I said, she's staring into my soul. I said they're nice, pretty blue. But I told you that her eyes are dead. <laughs> then I tell you when she would smile and stuff, I'm like, man, her eyes are dead. That's what I mean. She's staring into your soul. There's no life in her eyes. Right. They're a pretty shade of blue. <laughs> uh, so the person who directed this, uh, by the name of Nick Castle, uh, do you know anything else with Nick Castle. Mm -mm. All right. So one of the one of the other biggest things he had was Major Pain. Which, you know, wasn't a horrible movie. No, but campy and goofy. Uh, but his biggest claim to fame is that he plays Mike Myers in the Halloween movies. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> he makes dumb movies. Yeah. Good killer. Good killer. <laughs> All right, so we're on to Rotten Tomatoes at this point. Woo! Uh, CJ, you know that we scored a 38. So mm -hmm. 38 on IMDb shows that. We, um, yeah. I'm going to say 32. 32. Uh, for the audience score? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, pretty close. 26. Not horrible. Okay. Uh, what did the critics rate Oh, God. I'm going to say 10. Uh, remember, our colleague's going to be up here in the future. I'm going to say 10. We keep doing this. 10? Uh, he gave him a little more credit than that. Six. Six. And only 31 reviews. <laughs> only Damn. 31 critics have <laughs> watched this movie. They got a <coughs> word on the street. Do not watch this. All right. Uh, critics consensus, a mean-spirited joke without a punchline, so painfully unfunny that the lack of chemistry feels like a total drag despite being the point. Yes. It's fitting. I like it. They said it really well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nothing more we need to add. <laughs> it is trash. One person says, a dreadful movie. <laughs> the most outright unfunny comedy <laughs> in a long while. <laughs> An almost astonishingly atrocious piece of work. <laughs> Charming and funny, Ellen DeGeneres made her big screen leap that makes that dive <laughs> in the most uncharming and unfunny comedy. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. What's the Drew score? <laughs> Oh, let's see. I think I gave speed like a quarter. And I agree with you. I agree with you. It's it's zero. It's, it's down there. Zero. No, I 
I think it can go lower. Let, think about this. <laughs> we said that there was nothing worse than speed when we watched speed. Okay. We said that there was nothing lower than Home Alone 4 when we watched Home Alone 4, proving ourselves wrong that it was under speed. Mm -hmm. And we proved ourselves again wrong, wrong that there is something below Negative Home Alone two. 4. Yeah. Negative one. I, I assume that it's it's a positive scale. You have to be at least something. Okay. Uh, uh, so, an ear. An ear? <laughs> I think I gave speed like a quarter. One sixteen. I, I think I gave Home Alone like an eighth. I mean, you're probably right being around a sixteenth. I don't even know if like it gets to my first double chin. <laughs> mm -mm. You know what? what? We're gonna say this. Yeah. That. Yeah. That. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> You going zero or you following no. my train? One sixteenth. One sixteenth. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's right about where it should be. Yeah. I feel like that's what it scored. Just keep going lower and lower and <laughs> lower and lower. Uh, We're going to have our own little tomato meter. <laughs> well. God damn it. You should have fucking chose Mr. Nanny. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck making it through this movie. Good luck. <laughs> Bubba Beach. See ya. <laughs>